hey guys welcome to another video tutorial and today i have alpha sender so this is email alpha sender you can send bulk emails and also here i have added uh, email validator uh, it means you can filter your email addresses if it's not okay uh, you can extract so it's an everything i'll show you in this video so let's see uh, how this work uh, this is just quick uh, demo and then we will write code so uh, let me just add some uh, my email addresses here uh, that's are we need second is again now the email address then again support at the rate my domain value and also um, tamix uh, uh, at the rate uh, my domain dot in and uh, maybe uh, uh, there are just a few for testing so once you click on a start uh, it will validate the email address and pops of in this uh, email list so let's start you can see all the email addresses is here because all is valid all right so next here you need to add a uh, subject so it's test and the subject and then here you can write uh, your message So if you want to add something like uh, in paragraph here and also heading levels, uh, so you can do like this. And if you have any pre-built uh, HTML template, I mean just uh, email template, you can just simply uh, click on this link and you can paste your code here. So uh, this is a nice uh, feature which I ever used here uh, for making your message uh, template. And after adding this, you have to just click on send now. So your response will be here, message uh, mail sent to this why is this giving error because here is uh, empty spaces so let me just test mail and here are let me just put here and just validate all mail is good and remove the last space and here is your message how are you I'm doing something like and this is just a test message and it's hitting level three and uh, just click on send now mail send mail send mail send mail send so all mails are sent so let me just uh, show you my inbox here and it's refresh yeah you can see power mta this is my sender name and here are test mail and here is power mail. Just check this one. This is reading level two, and uh, it's the power MT. It's my sender name. And this is subject which is test mail, uh, test subject. So this way you can use this sender. So there are so much nice features. So let me show you a uh, uh, code so you can understand uh, what thing I have used, uh, like which SMTP account I have used. So this, this support all the types of SMTP, uh, uh, including Power MTA, uh, Postfix, and uh, all types of. So simple and clean and good looking, and all mails are hitting to inbox. So uh, this is good feature. So let me just show you this uh, uh, source code. So I'm using NetBean, and this is my project. Just a minute. Email validator with sender. So. In this uh, file, we have uh, in this project we have a uh, uh, validator.php, smtp.php, in, uh, index.php, and uh, composer. Uh, some composer file uh, like a JSON file we have used. So which library we have used here? Here we are using uh, uh, this email uh, validator library, and uh, also we have a use use the PHP mail latest version for sending emails. All right. <coughs> So first, I need to show you inbox dot uh, sorry in, uh, in uh, index dot php file, and here I will use a lot more thing about just uh, HTML and CSS. So let me just zoom in. Uh, this is Booster five point three. I will use phone does four four point seven uh, for these icons on these icons, and then uh, this uh, visual uh, wing uh, editor which we have used using this library. Uh, you can find on GitHub. So this is a uh, uh, library file uh resuming and uh, there are plugin color plugins so you will see there's some colors also you can add all right and here are uh, we are we are using the jquery 3.6 and also some uh, javascript file of resuming uh 
uh, Tumble, YZ, Main.js. This is a library you can find on GitHub. And there are phones we have used using this library. And uh, there are lots more things uh, like uh, a format uh, and uh, uh, plugins and colors and all those things we have uh, used. And here are main.js, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is important file. We have a right uh, written some code for sending uh, data from JS, JavaScript, um, and it's a browser to a server for sending mails. So uh, this is just normal CSS, uh, uh, background color or something, this one, and there are some minimum height of our <coughs> Uh, form control and row uh, is margin 3% and uh, sender container there are some contents let me show you CSS is not important here uh, important is the JavaScript and also as PHP and how which library we are using uh, for validating uh, emails or uh, these are two is important so this is the header and uh, this is the heading level one and uh, there are some paragraph uh, which uh, you can see uh, here, this is the paragraph. Uh, this is the heading level, and here is a paragraph which we have used. Then uh, some form like a subject, uh, email list, and the message. So message and subject and email list is something like this one. Uh, this uh, container. All right. So what the next is we are calling to a start sending function, and this we can see in main.js file. So I'll show you in a minute. Then, uh, all right. Uh, then we have a free mail validator then uh, rfc and dns email validator as a free this is a heading level and uh, uh, paragraph which we have used a list of the validate your email list so mix where mix emails you can add here so it will automatically uh, filter and put here and then we have a button and also this button have a one function which is start validating and this function also have inside a main.js so all those functions we will see uh, in main.js so you don't need to worry about it and there are some functions to activate the visual editor there are the highlighted color usdml uh, force uh, colors and background color foreground colors and background colors and undo redo formatting all those buttons we have added this visiting uh, trip some info yz uh, editor and it's available in it you can search uh, by google all right so upload list uh, this is this function is not important import from csv so i don't have a, uh, added this because this is the future updates uh, if you need i will uh, just add these features uh, import from csv and import from excel files so the, those are the uh, functionality i will add in future so next we have to see uh, main.js file this is very important and this file uh, uh, inside the vendor and tr is the subdirectory and there are the files in main.js all right so what the next is we have to find the location of the full uh, of file which is tr then main.js here is main.js file and here are we have a, a created two functions which is uh, uh, start validating and here is a, a number loop validation uh, that will uh, validate your uh, email list and then start sending this function will uh, send you mails uh, to your recipient so this is let, let's see the function which is to start validating this is the function uh, and uh, this is unverified uh, numbers or unverified emails because we have a uh, uh, defined variable which is unverified numbers so this is actually an email so whatever this function is uh, whatever email have in a new line uh, this mail this mail this mail it will get a line by line so this is for that one and numbers and then we are splitting by the comma then next we are sending the request to the file which is uh, validator.php so i'll show you this file as well in a minute so validator.php will filter your data and we have a uh, use of some backend data for validating uh, uh, things uh, by server side so uh, we will see and sending all the uh, numbers uh, i mean just emails uh, to the this function which is number of validator so this is actually email validator but i have this or uh, defined the functions like a number so this is number of validator then uh, this is the function uh, this is the success message if the response is uh, if the request is uh, going through the uh, uh, server file which is validated and it's back the response that is uh, uh, back to the javascript file that is uh, document dot get element by id and we are getting the id which is emails and it's value so this is just nothing but this is the text area we are uh, populating the the emails which is all the valids if it's valid then it will comes here in this uh, area the next is <clears throat> uh, let me just first show you this validator.php file so this is nothing but there is some functions we have used validator.php and uh, i have uh, auto loaded uh, the whole library which we have used in the php so this is the psr uh, and this is a composer file uh, created by the 
uh, composer command. All right, so there are the, some uh, classes we have used email variable. Hold on, just a minute. I'm called. Let me just hold on, but uh, two minutes. All right, so let me just back here. Uh, here is our DNS check uh, validation and multi level validation with AND and RH validation. Uh, there are a lot more uh, uh, classes we have used here to validate the uh, emails. And again, this is the number, uh, this is the actual email, but I have just defined this uh, things we have used something uh, for uh, uh, SMS as well, but we have defined uh, same thing, same variable here for the emails. But the uh, dollar dot post and the numbers, numbers is nothing but the emails, all your emails. If it's said, then we are uh, storing inside the variable, which is dollar phone, and this is the uh, your emails. So your emails. Then uh, call the class, uh, make the object of this class, which is your email validator. And we are storing, uh, we are created the object, which is the validator. And then call the functions of uh, validator, here is a validator. And call the function is valid, phone number and multi uh, multiple validation. And multiple validation is nothing but we are setting, we are adding the two classes inside RFC validation. And next is the DNS. If domain is working and it's have a valid IP, then it will uh, give you a uh, valid uh, email addresses. Okay, so this is the max record and uh, also the uh, RFC <coughs> validation and DNS domain name uh, server. So if it's a uh, uh, true, uh, means uh, have the true value, uh, means phone, uh, means email, uh, have the valid DNS records and max records. So it will return to a one, it means it's true. Then we are uh, getting the email addresses and we are storing inside here. Okay, so validation, uh, validator.php have a seen. Next thing is, uh, next thing is uh, start sending. So this is the same process we have applied here. So the first variable i is initial value is uh, zero because we have created and uh, variable which is i equals to zero because this function we have to loop through uh, until we have uh, the last email address in the list. So that's why we have created a one <coughs> a variable which is i and we are just rotating the things to get the last uh, first to last line by line it will read. So this is the email addresses which we uh, want to get uh, through the jQuery variable. Uh, it's a jQuery selectors. So it's a uh, selector is an email. So email is nothing but the, this one email addresses. It's a variable. Let me just show you. And here is the emails. It's ID is emails. Then next we are getting the same values of message subject. Okay, so all the three things we need. Then we need to send all the data to another server file which is smtp.php. So this is the path URL and we are sending the request to smtp.php so this will uh, i'll show you this uh, in a minute then uh, we are again splitting the data because this is the array and we are splitting by the comma uh, this is just a string and we are converting through this function which is a sprite and uh, separated by the comma then we will get the uh, uh, emails line by line using this function emails this emails and then i so i first time is zero then this loop will goes because we are we are uh, setting the set time of function and this function itself it's rotating so that's why we have used i equals to zero so next time this function is goes to a, uh, a second number this will rotate to zero to plus one then next it will uh, next time uh, it will just plus one means one plus one is two three four five six and it will goes all the emails line by line so that's why and it's a interval time is 1000 millisecond it means one second so it will rotate one by one then if uh, your sender have only one email here just a minute just close this one if your sender have just only one email address then you uh, it will not uh, rotate and just give the current email it's uh, the uh, it's the first email because there is no array we are not splitting the we are not converting the string to an array so that's why it's for uh, uh, current mail is your simple emails it means first data first line then we are sending the data uh, using the post request and path URL. Path URL is just nothing, this file, uh, smtp.php. And I'll show you this in a minute because we are sending all the data, subject, current mail, and message to uh, smtp.php. And this is just a simple request, uh, uh, a response. Uh, so you can see the mail sent and current email. Current email, whatever your email is this. So mail sent and this current email, then mail sent, this current email. So likewise, you can add all the uh, a list uh, line line by line you can just get the response by uh, these functions which is response and we are appending the data to this container which is mail response this is the uh, container and we are getting the response and appending to uh, one by one 
then there is some problem means uh, mail is not sent it's not success then uh, it will show the response it means uh, your your mail is not going to be delivered uh, not going to be sent and uh, there are many uh, uh, errors so this will give you uh, errors because this uh, we have a uh, add the mechanism inside of smtp.php so that's why so showing a success data because data have some data uh, some uh, data data and giving the response and adding some logic so if and as condition so all right so let me just uh, show you smtp.php this is the last file last file in this project so smtp.php and here is my smtp and uh, you can add any type of smtps and we are adding the uh, auto load file which is uh, uh, generated by the composer and this file have inside a vendor and auto loader.php and this is the class php mailer library.php and there are we have created the uh, class and uh, uh, making the functions and calling inside here so subject emails we are getting from the form uh, and we are getting the data from the uh, javascript to a uh, php it means client side to a server side we are transferring the response and requ re request and responses so you can see all those things here and we are getting the data subject a current mail message and all those things then uh, this is the server name uh, means uh, your smtp username smtp password from email from name so all those things you can set in the background and then we are calling this class which is php mailer and the object and its object is smtp and uh, there are the fun there are the one function which is uh, smtp load and it will take some parameter which is a server name uh, sorry smtp username smtp password from email from name and the subject so they, those are the functions we are passing its values you can set here then adding the uh, address uh, using this object which is mail ad address and current mail whatever uh, this uh, whatever you are uh, javascript mail.js file uh, sending uh, mail sending function will send the current email it will come here and current mail is whatever current mail because in the list uh, there are some possibilities there uh, will be uh, more than one email so it will take one by one then here are hello if you have any uh, particular user you can add uh, his and her name here then subject and the body whatever message you will write from there and if the mail function will send the mail it will echo the success message and if your smtp have something wrong then it will accuse you an error because there are some function uh, which is inbuilt function and uh, php mail gives us to troubleshoot uh, error info so which is mail and error info so it will show your smtp is not connected your mail is not uh, going to be sent so all those things are stored in this uh, error uh, info this is uh, this is the variable and we are calling uh, using this mail object so uh, this is uh, pretty much i have shown you all the things if you have any questions and doubt you can write me a comment i'm here to help you so thanks for watching once again have a nice day bye bye